And it baffles me that nobody in the history of the world has ever seriously accounted for gravity and atmospheric pressure when they're working with people and how the body interacts, right? When they're the two largest imposing factors on a human being. And the interesting thing, because I've been trying to find a way to explain it to people so they understood it. So the, the current way, the best way is, imagine that you're standing there and gravity's pulling through your body, through your feet, and the highest point of force is at the bottom of your feet. Because mm -hmm. gravity's pulling there, you're meeting the earth there. If you were to take a rubber band, step on it, and start to uh, stand up against it and push the band with your arm all the way up, so you're stretching it from your foot to your arm, the farther you go up, the more tension there is. So gravity on a human being imposes two forces. It has all the gravitational force, which is all the load that's on the feet, and then all the tension. And the farther you go away from the feet, the more tension's relative. So the highest point of tension is actually the top of the head. 